The Nuremberg Trials. After World War II, the eyes of the world were on this courtroom. Would justice be served for some of history's most heinous crimes? The Nuremberg Trials, 2000. Here's Jimmy. As well as individuals, the tribunal's opening indictments named seven criminal organizations, including the SS and the notorious German secret police, infamously known as this. Emily. What is the Gestapo? Correct. Uh, Nuremberg Trials 400? Here is Sarah. From November 1945 to October 1946, courtroom 600 was the site of an international military tribunal that arraigned 24 Nazis on charges of conspiracy, war crimes, crimes against peace, and offenses such as persecution, enslavement, and murder, classed as crimes against this. Emily. What is humanity? Yes. Uh, Nuremberg Trials 800? The International Military Tribunal that presided over the trials consisted of one representative and one alternate from the United States in each of these other three Allied powers. Danielle. What are Great Britain, France, and the Soviet Union? That is correct. Uh, Nuremberg Trials 1200. The U.S. prosecutor at the Nuremberg Trials was former Attorney General Robert H. Jackson, who took an 11-month leave from this body, to which he'd been appointed by FDR in 1941. Danielle. Where's the Supreme Court? Correct. Nuremberg 16. And here is Sarah. The record discloses no excuses for this man was the court's verdict on this notorious Nazi and Luftwaffe chieftain who cheated the hangman by taking cyanide in his cell. That's Herman Goering. Clue in to more fun Jeopardy! videos by clicking the subscribe button below.